Um, up here is all your different time frames. Um, you can cho choose, you can go to that arrow right there, and you can choose whatever time frames you want to, to be up top. Um, you could star them so they could be in your favorites. Um, each time frame, so like right now, we're on a, you see, it says one hour, it's in blue. We're on a one hour time frame. So which means each candle represents one hour. Each candle represents one hour. So um, we go here to five minutes. Each candle represents five minutes. Each candle represents five minutes. So whatever time frame you're on, each candle represents that, okay? Um, up here is your different types of candles. So you can switch it to read regular candles. Um, your regular candles, um, I know um, Q kind of went over um, some some uh, what some of the candles mean. Um, so, and a lot of times starting off, people don't really use um, regular candles. Um, I use regular candles now just because I have a lot of variety with my style of how I trade. But I, know, I do know that a lot of times starting off, um, it's easier for people to not get psyched out and they end up using Hakanashi candles. So for instance, you see like with regular candles, you see how you see all these different wicks and you also see them, even though that this is, see, see guys, this is going in the uptrend right here. But even though we're going in the uptrend, you still see red candles. And so like people who probably, a person that really don't know how to read the candles, each candle actually represents something. Each candle represents something. So just because something is red, doesn't mean that it's literally red. You know, each candle represents something. So you, you have to learn how to read candles. But in the beginning is, you know, so that people don't get overwhelmed. You know, we tell people, hey, go ahead and switch them to Hakanashi. And so if you see how I, I switched it over to Hakanashi candles, you have it's, 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 you have more green candles compared to not um, getting psyched out so much. Um, also, too, with your Hakanashi candles, they're they're one direction. So, like, if it's going up, you only got the wicks going up. Period. You know, there's no wicks at the bottom. Now, if it's a down, if it's going down, the wick is only at the bottom. It's not at the top and the bottom. So, when you see a candle at the top and the bottom. It, with, in Hakanashi candles, that means that the that is indecisive. Um, it's an indecisive candle. You know, um, they're trying to figure it out. When they actually choose a direction, you're only going to have a wick coming down and a flat a flat top, or you go have a flat bottom and a wick at the top, one or the other. So that's how um, Hakanashi works. So you see how like like again, it's 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 smooth. Here we go. I, I switch it over to regular candles. You see all the mixy mixy candles. So we say when people starting off to learn Hakanashi um, until you kind of get a feel and feel more comfortable with what you're doing. Um, I definitely recommend, though, once you get comfortable and you're getting consistent in your place to learn regular candles, um, regular candles are going to help you out in a lot of different ways. There's a lot of different strategies as far as what you can play um, just in general. Um, some people play breakouts. Um, you know, breaking out from a support and resistance level. Um, some people play, play gap fills, you know, um, some people play off the EMAs, some people, um, you know, play off a strat. It's not a, a right or wrong um, uh, how to play. It's just a personal preference. So, you know, you play around with different strategies and see what best works for you. Same thing about um, what type of trader you should be. You got some people that's, that, um, do uh, scalping, you got people that day trade, you got people that swing. Um, there's even, you know, people that do le leaps and leaps is like holding it, you know, you can hold it up for like two years, you know? So um, now months, two years, sometimes even three. So um, it just depends on what type of trader you, you are. Don't get so easily influenced by what somebody else is doing. Worry about your own journey and what you're comfortable with. At the end of the day, I always say, nobody's paying your bills except you. So nobody's going to help you fund your account either except you. So just be comfortable with what you're doing. And if you're making money and you're consistent in that, it doesn't matter what, what strategy the other man is using or, or what type of trader that they're doing. You know, do, what's work, do what works for you. So like this chart here, um, you have, like I said, you have your, your support and resistance lines. That's these red and blue lines. Then you have your, um, your simple moving averages lines here. Uh, also, too, you could you can change those colors 
Um, so just like, for instance, the blue line, you can click that. You could change it to, let's just say we change it to white right now. So you see in the background, it's white, right? So you could change that to whatever you, whatever color you want to. I'm going to go ahead and put it back on, on blue. You can also um, change like how thick the lines are. So let's say we go to um, go to that again and go to the yellow one. And let's just say, you know, we wanted the yellow one to be even thicker. So you see how it just, it, you know, it got thicker and let's just say we want it smaller. So you can change the, the thickness of the, of, the, um, of the lines as well, you know, based off your own personal preference. So it really doesn't matter the color or the thickness of something, just whatever you can see and you feel comfortable with. Um, I'll go ahead and click this to turn on the 21. And um and do that. Also, too, when you're doing when you're doing stuff and you're changing stuff on the screen or whatever, make sure that you um you press you press save, okay? Um, so that um you don't have to keep redoing it because if you get out and you leave again, it's not gonna be there anymore. You have to do that all, all over again. So um so like I said down here, you have your um your squeeze or whatever, and it shows like when it'd be like super green when um it's in the uptrend. And then you start seeing it down, down, you get a dull color green. Um and that that just means you know, like you you might want to go ahead and get out if you're already in because it's about to reverse soon. Um and so and then the blue dots, you know, kind of just shows that you have a um you have a uh a lot of momentum going on right in, in that area, a lot of momentum going on in that area. And momentum is a good thing. That's what we want. Okay. Um, this, this zigzag, that's more so for higher time frames. It's for people really that's kind of swinging, uh, eliminate the noise that, you know, of uh, all the things that's happening in between, you know, you, you, if you're swinging, you don't really care about, um, what's happening day in, day out. You're looking at the bigger picture of things. Um, you don't really use that when you day trading, but it's more so for like swinging. Um, and then here is more so like your volume area where it shows you basically where a lot of activity is taking place. So you see the longer the lines or whatnot, you have a lot of a lot of um, buyers and the sellers uh, that's taking place right there. Um, and so that's how that works. And Let's, if we go quick question, quick question. Uh, can you show us how to add uh, an RSI indicator? Like, you know, some of the indicators. Of it's, 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 our, it's, our, it's already on there, Q. Can I finish up, please? It's on. The, it's already on there. So I'll show you the, I'll show you the, um, uh, the RSI is right here, man. This is RSI. So I'm going to go through it. Just give, give, give me time to kind of run through. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, yeah, it's our, everything that they need is already programmed, already on the chart for them. <clears throat> this is the um, RSI. This is what he's what he's talking about here. I go, I just go to that chart just for him. Um, so here's your, your your RSI. That's what he went over. Um, then you know uh, when when it goes over, you you going to be looking really for like a, a reversal because it, it's too high, it's overbought. Um, and then if it's like goes up under here, like down here, it's um, oversold. So you when it's you don't never want it to be like too far up or too far um, too far low. If so, you can go ahead and try to look and see if you can see a position in which you can take. Make sure again that other things are aligning that you can see that it's about to reverse and take your position. 